white line, King City, a city devoted to the glory of God, but in her dark underbelly, there are villains gathering, evil men who seek to steal God's glory. Will King City find her hero? Can she be saved and restored to her former glory? For the answer to these questions and more, tune in every week to The King City Chronicles. Good day, children. I'm glad you're here. We haven't heard from the obliterator lately, but he has been sneaking around doing extreme damage to King City. Kingdom Crusader and I have been working on this plan to rebuild God's city. Hey, scripture guy. Hey, I heard you wanted to see me? Yes, Casey Carter. We need your help to carry out our plans. What's your plan? Well, we believe that the Obliterator has been building up an army of criminals to attack King City. The Philistine has told us where his hideaway is, and it is dangerously close to our fair city. So we want to build a wall around King City to protect us from his attacks. Okay, well, well hey, one of the sponsors of the King City Herald is a building supplier. You know, I could ah. get in touch with him and see if he could get some bricks and some mortar and some method supplies for us. Good, good. <laughs> Scoop has been organizing a team of volunteers to help us share the work. Great. Uh, anything else I can do for you? Yes. All right. We also want to share God's word with the entire community. Mm -hmm. Why, if we could all give our hearts to the Lord, then the obliterator can never harm us. Mm -hmm. you, you know, I could run an article in the paper to ask people for Bibles. <laughs> Great spelling, playing scripture guy. You're a regular Nehemiah. See you later. <laughs> Nehemiah. I hadn't thought of that, but actually God did use Nehemiah to rebuild the wall around Jerusalem. Here, let me get out the good news, and I'll show you right now. Good news, good news. <laughs> Nehemiah was the cupbearer to the king. He must have been very brave because the cupbearer had to take the first drink from the king's cup to make sure that no one had poisoned the king's drink. At that time, enemies had burned down the city gates and broken down the wall, which had once protected the city of Jerusalem. When Nehemiah found out, he was so sad that he cried and, and did not eat. He prayed that God would help him talk to the king. Then Nehemiah asked the king to let him lead a team to Jerusalem to rebuild the walls. The king showed favor on him and wrote letters telling everyone that he had the king's permission to rebuild Jerusalem. But while they were working, they were being attacked by their enemies. There was a group of men led by two very angry gentlemen named Sanballat and Tobiah that would not leave them alone. So Nehemiah placed guards behind them to protect them as they worked. Wow, now that's what I call teamwork. <laughs> Teamwork? Ah, oh, <laughs> Kingdom Crusader. I was just telling the children about uh, Nehemiah. Oh, uh, you mean the guy that rebuilt Jerusalem's wall? That's the one. <laughs> he lined up the family side by side with their own part, each to repair the wall. They carried building supplies in one hand and their weapons in the other. Wow. Talk about multitasking. Yes. <laughs> that guy sure knew how to build a team, didn't he? Exactly. I loved his plan. Oh, man, then you're going to love this plan. Mm -hmm. Boom! <laughs> Look at this. Look at my Uncle Phil. I mean, uh, the Philistine Maggie. That is the strangest thing I've ever seen. What is it? Ah, it's the hammer sword. <laughs> uh, let me show it to you. Okay. Yeah, the sword is for fighting off the enemies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then when all the enemies are gone, it's time to build. It's hammer time. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I think this plan could work if we all work together. Mm -hmm. yeah. oh, 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 I'll get it. Okay. Hello, Kingdom Crusader here. Oh, yeah, yeah, he loved it. <laughs> yeah, okay, okay, I'll tell him. All right, bye. All right, that was the Philistine. He said he can have a hundred hammer swords ready by tomorrow. Wow, that's what I call quick service. <laughs> you know, his inventions have really been a great help. Oh, I know, right? They're great. Oh, I'll get that one. I wonder who that is. Here, let me put this down. Scripture guy. Oh, it's Casey Carter. It is? Yes. Oh. He says that his editor let him run that article asking for Bible donations. Oh, well, that's good, I guess. <laughs> oh, and also his supplier has agreed to donate all the supplies we need to complete the wall. Oh. Thanks, Casey. You're welcome. What? What? Oh, um, oh, the phone's ringing. I gotta get it. Uh -huh. <laughs> Hello? Oh, hey, it's Scoop Gibson. It is? Yeah. Oh, yeah, he says he can have a hundred workers ready by tomorrow. Great. Tell him we have a hundred hammer swords. Uh-huh. Yeah. Um, he says, what's a hammer sword? Here, let me talk to him. Oh, what's that? Oh, he's got to go. Goodbye, Scoop. 
Oh, don't worry. He'll have all the people there by the, by the wall for tomorrow. Well, it looks like we're building quite a team. We've got the King City Herald on our side. And the Philistine on our side. And building suppliers on our side. And a hundred workers on our side. Yes. We just need a name for this. Hmm. Oh, I got it. We can call it the Nehemiah Project. That has a nice ring to it. <laughs> oh, man, if we all work together, there's no way we can lose. There's only one more person we need on our side. Yeah. Well, who is it? I'll let Nehemiah tell you. Oh. Listen to what the Bible says. So the wall was completed on the 25th of Elul in 52 days. When all of our enemies heard about this, all the surrounding nations were afraid and lost their self-confidence because they realized that this work had been done with the help of our God. Wow. That's right. With God on our side, there's no way that old obliterator can beat us. Yes. We should pray and ask God for his help. Mm -hmm. I know exactly what I'm going to ask God for. Yes. Let's all ask together. Lord, please help us to give, give everything, everything to honor our king to the wall. To the wall.